In this video, we'll explain why you should stop doing dips like this. Let's get into the video. The bar dip is a great calisthenics exercise that targets the chest, shoulders, and triceps. It's an effective way to build muscle and strength. However, there is a better way to do them, and if you do them this way, you will gain more muscle and strength and will be able to progress in more ways with your training. Although the bar dip is a great exercise, it does have some issues that may affect some people, and in many cases, when compared to the other exercise, it does fall short. I want you to maximize how much you get out of your training so this is why I recommend that you start doing ring dips instead. So why are ring dips better than bar dips? So the first reason is you get to pick the width. The common issue with the bar dips is the width of the bar. In many cases, it's not quite right for you, which can irritate your shoulders and wrists, possibly increase injury risk and just make you less effective in movement. When you switch to rings, you get to pick the width that you want and customize the exercise so the equipment works around you and not you working around the equipment. This means less joint irritation, less injury risk and better performance. All these lead to is long-term training with more overall gains. The second point is the connection isn't fixed. This is an important one and really goes hand in hand with the first point. When you're doing bar dips, the bar is fixed. This can make the movement less natural and cause issues like restrictive movement or forcing a position of movement that aggravates the muscle or joint. With rings, they are not fixed, but move and move however you choose through any portion of the rep. It will move and adjust either because of the natural natural way that you move due to mobility, flexibility, or just how your body is built, or you can adjust it consciously if you want to target a certain muscle or adjust the movement slightly for whatever reason. This gives you true freedom of movement. If you're into calisthenics and enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button to help spread this video. So the third point is you will use far more muscles. When doing dips, you are working your chest, shoulders, and triceps. There will be some core work as well if you're keeping your core rigid, but compared to the rings, it does fall short. The ring dip works many more muscles with special emphasis on the stabilizer muscles, but it does force the main muscles to have to work harder too. With the rings, they are not fixed in space like the bar, so the body needs to create stability to be able to work safely and effectively. And to do this, it needs to activate the stabilizer muscles and it makes the main muscles contract harder. Just keeping the rings in close to you is hard, let alone keeping them under tension and under control while doing a full range of motion. Many people will look like they're experiencing an earthquake when they first get on the rings, but with time they get better and stronger. The key thing also is if you do bar dips, it doesn't make you stronger at ring dips, but if you do ring dips, it makes you stronger at both. After being on rings, the bar dips will feel so easy and you will feel so much stronger. So don't worry about missing out on bar dip games while doing rings. The rings will actually give you all the gains that you need. If you want or need a pair of rings, then check out the links in the video description down below. And if you want to know more about rings or the benefits of them, then make sure you check out these videos now. I'll see you in the next video.